Filmmaker Manfred Kirschheimer has been documenting New York City in his inimitable way for over half a century. The 88-year-old documentarian and former film professor has loved New York ever since he and his family came here in 1936 to escape Nazi Germany. And his documentaries are a visual tribute to the landscape, the people, and the rhythms of his adopted city. For his newest film, Free Time, which had its world premiere at the New York Film Festival here at Lincoln Center, the acclaimed filmmaker turned to a trove of 16-millimeter black and white footage he and a colleague shot 60 years ago. Like many of his previous films, Free Time is a meditation on city life set to the sounds of jazz and classical music, this time capturing the metropolis during a seemingly gentler time gone by. Here's a preview. And joining us now to talk about free time and about his life and career is filmmaker Manfred Kirschheimer. Manny, welcome to the program. It's such oh, an honor to have Raphael. you here with us. Thank you, Raphael. So, so Manny, as I said, you shot this film 60 years ago. First of all, uh, why did you shoot this film? What was your initial intention with it? Well, Walter Hess, who was my partner at the time, and I uh, were shooting a large scripted film called Dream of a City. And um, its main theme had to do with the way the glass boxes were taking over the city, mm -hmm. the downtown, midtown part of it. The and, big glass skyscrapers. Yeah, 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 well, I call them boxes, <laughs> yeah. you know, and I, we deplored it. And, and it had uh, scenes of the wrecking of the older buildings uh, in favor of the newer ones. And, uh, well, we didn't get to edit that film. But we shot a great deal of material. We shot over 30 hours worth mm -hmm. of material with a Bolex, black and white, 100-foot rolls. Yeah. Anyway, um, so since we were, weren't able to edit it together, uh, I asked permission from him to make my own films out of the material, and he could make his own yeah. films. So that soon after, uh, I made a half-hour film called Claw. Yeah which was about that subject. Mm -hmm. But now you revive it and make a whole film out of that footage. Why, why now? Right, and that was only a half hour, and this is it's an hour. An hour, yeah. Right, because, well, why now? Uh, I made a film last year, which I actually called Dream of a City, which was also at the film festival. And um, that, you know, I, I don't like to make the same kind of film twice in a row. Mm -hmm. So in between, I made a Talking Heads film, you know, an <laughs> yeah. interview film yeah. called uh, Middle Class Money Honey, <laughs> all about people's relationship mm -hmm. to money. And then I figured, all right, I'm going to go back to this material and see what's left. Mm -hmm. And so um, that became free time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, you've been shooting this film for decades, I mean, this city for decades. Probably no one knows better how it has changed. How do you think it has changed for the better and for the worse? Well, for the better, the air quality is better. There are trees everywhere. There weren't, there's not a tree in this film. That's right. You know? Um, and now, I mean, I live on Broadway and the mall is filled, it's lush. You know, you really know it's summertime, uh, when it is summertime. And uh, so, those two things have definitely improved. Mm -hmm. What's gotten worse is the traffic. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, on any day, in the middle of the day, things are blocked up. And um, the fact, which the film demonstrates, that kids don't play on the street anymore. That's true. And I attribute that to the cell phone. <laughs> 
I think the kids go up their houses after school and don't go down to play yeah. the way we used to. So listen, what, first of all, what ignited this love affair between you and this city? What, why did you decide to make this kind of like the premier subject of your film? Well, you know, it's a love-hate affair, actually, <laughs> because the, you know, my, our protest against those glass boxes um, was a bad part of the city. <laughs> and it's happening now in Brooklyn, and it's happening on 57th Street in Manhattan, you know, these very tall structures vying with the Empire State, you know, and, and casting shadows on the park. So um, that, that's the hate part of New York. Mm -hmm. I really deplore it as I go down the avenue. So we got, we got about 10, 15 seconds left. You still going out in the streets shooting? No. <laughs> My last film was Canners, where I went out on the street, in which I, I um, interviewed people who collected cans and bottles for a nickel. Well, Manny, um, as I told you before, when I came to New York City, I, I almost got you as a professor. Now I wish I did. I made the wrong decision. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's Thank been you. an honor to have you here with us. Thank you very much, Raphael. Free Time premiered at the New York Film Festival, currently underway at Lincoln Center. And for more information, head on over to metrofocus.org.